photographs along Newfound wanderings, smiles come upon Tying strings to rain clouds Carving room for love for God Sean met in the most unlikely setting. Sean has two favourite places in the world. For those of you who don't know, it's the gym and KFC. <laughs> they did not meet at KFC. <laughs> the first time they ever saw each other was when Alana took her mother to the gym and there was, quote, a grey shirt. With his amazing strength and quiet intensity, Alana and her mother would laugh a lot while training, which was a huge contrast to the grey shirt. They didn't know each other's names, so that's where grey shirt with the beautiful eyes came from. Sean, however, was shocked when this overly happy burst of energy suddenly was training at the same time. He was every night. Alana would bounce around in with her mother, bust out leg day almost every day, lifting crazy weights that shouldn't be possible for her. <laughs> so Alana caught his attention. Sean asked around who this girl was, but no one would tell him her name. <laughs> then Alana did what Alana does best and forced the shy Sean to talk and be friends with her. And that's where their friendship began. All under the beauty's <laughs> eyes of sharing Alana's mother. They ended up training every night together for months. Alana, being a dancer, was constantly on his back about stretching and injuries whilst Sean was telling him to work harder. <laughs> yoga. Who would have thought Bikram Yoga is romantic and sexy? No longer grey shirt, he became shirtless Sean. <laughs> and Alana became, in Sean's words, this beautiful, serious and focused person he never expected. They spent the months following as friends and nothing more as Sean made the incorrect assumption that Alana was not single. But as soon as Sean realised that that was not the case, he made his move and the rest is all loved up history. <laughs> Today, one year since Sean popped the big question, <laughs> they wish to publicly declare their love and make a union as husband and wife. Now, when I asked Alana what she loves most about Sean, she said how he encourages her to be herself without any judgment. He always puts their relationship first and most importantly, lets her choose the movie. 
This is why Sean has seen Harry Potter many more times than he ever thought he would in his lifetime. <laughs> Sean, your love makes Alana feel blessed and that everything makes sense in the world. Although you are constantly eating and there is enough protein and pre-workout powder in the pantry to last a lifetime, she promises to give you free haircuts, <laughs> let you think that the dogs love you more, She will be there to support you always and be a positive light. Alana is so happy that she forced you to be her friend. <laughs> and together you have found true love. When I asked Sean what he loves most about Alana, he said how she is funny, smart and makes him so happy. Alana, being with you makes Sean feel like he doesn't need anything else in the world. And marrying you means loving you forever. I can't believe today is here. I love you so much and can't wait to spend the rest of my life being weird with you. I promise to choose you every day for the rest of our lives. I promise not to put too much Vegemite on your toast in the morning. It's vegan. Okay, now peanut butter because it's gone vegan. <laughs> I promise to always appreciate that you have the kindest heart and you always have my back. I promise to never take you grant for granted when you always put me first. I promise to always encourage you to try new, for new food and not be super disappointed when you hate them and to never hide mushrooms in your food ever again. <laughs> well, that's too human. <laughs> I promise to give you a haircut when you desperately need one, at a discounted price and only the length that I choose. <laughs> I promise to always stroke your hair and scratch your back whenever you're stressed or just plain itchy. I prom <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> I promise to pinch your butt every time you bend over, even though it annoys you. <laughs> I promise to always keep you laughing with my weird humour. I promise to, talk, to try not to put my cold feet on you and steal the covers. And I promise not to get too grumpy when you wake me up really, really early in the morning to say goodbye and try not to fall asleep every night mid-sentence without actually telling you I love you. <laughs> I promise to do all the talking when you don't want to. I promise not to be offended when you're hangry, and I promise to always have your back even when you're wrong. I promise to be the light whenever we face darkness, and I promise to love you un unconditionally, unconditionally, <laughs> even when you're snoring. You snore more than me. I do not. <laughs> I'm surprised every morning thinking that I couldn't love you more, but it keeps happening. <laughs> so, I love you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh. Mine isn't that good, but... <laughs> but I'm the funny one. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, let me get this out of the way. <laughs> I call upon the people present... Oh, okay. Don't worry, then. <laughs> Alana, I vow to spend every moment I can with you to learn together, to love together, to anticipate your needs and rejoice with you as my wife. As your husband, I vow to always listen and never hurt you, to always kiss you and never shame you, to always love you and to never leave you or the doggos. <laughs> with my true love's kiss as a token of my pure and true love for you, I promise to forevermore be your loving and devoted husband. Okay. Let's do the legal bit. Let's do the legal bit. Now. Okay, you go. You go. You go. You go first. I call upon the people present to witness that I, Alana Marie Patterson, take you, Sean William McCaffrey, to be my lawful wedded husband. 
I call upon the people present to witness that I, Sean William McCaffrey, take you, Alana Marie Patterson, to be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> After exchanging their vows, they will now exchange rings as a symbol of this commitment. I ask for the ring. Thank you. Thank you. I give you this ring as a symbol of, of my love for you. Let it be a reminder. That I'm always by your side. That I always will be a faithful partner with you to you. I will always love you. I give you this ring as a symbol. As a symbol of my love. Of my love for you. Let it be a reminder. Let it be a reminder. That I am always by your side. That I am always by your side. And that I will always be. And that I will always be a faithful partner to you. A faithful partner to you. I will always love you. I will always love you. Oh God. She's going on. <laughs> Alana and Sean, may the love, joy, and happiness that you share lead to a very long and lasting marriage. You have exchanged vows and agreed to wear these rings as a symbol of your commitment. So, in front of your family and friends, it gives me the greatest pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife, please kiss the bride.